Asa Gonzalez is killing it in Hollywood while also killing the idea that Latinos should only play certain characters. I am Alex Aspe and in today's breakdown we have all the recent details on Asa's wins. It is no secret that Asa Gonzalez is one of the youngest and most successful Latinas in Hollywood and now she's taking advantage of her platform to talk about the importance of Latino actors and actresses to be given all kinds of roles, not only those that fall into a stereotype. I'm pretty sure you know about what stereotypes I'm talking about, right? I don't think I have to make a list. A few weeks ago, she highlighted the reality that she lives as a Latin actress in one of the most competitive industries in the world by writing this on Instagram. I'd love to say I sit in a place where I can pick, but I don't. Don't forget I am still a Mexican woman, and the industry still struggles to find a decent place for women like me and give us the chance to have longevity intertwined with credibility. I try my absolute best within the circumstances and try to chase the unconventional jobs. I do not always get them. If I want to keep working, sometimes there are only some jobs open, and they're not necessarily leading ladies. Oof. So true. In a recent interview with the outlet La Opinión, Asa also mentioned the importance of diversity in the characters she plays. For example, in Godzilla vs. Kong, and also in the super popular Netflix movie I Care A Lot. Ya saben, to prove that Latina women can do absolutely everything. For me, the magic of cinema was always represented by those big explosive films, and I never had the chance to see Latin women doing these kinds of characters, because they were made exclusively for white women. Now that these roles are opening up, it is very difficult for me to miss the opportunity of representing a Latinx woman at an international level in a different way that helps us get out of a stereotype or cliche. And stating the obvious, Asa said the following. Latinas are always typecasted, period. And I think women even more. Men are given much more permission. To top things off, the actress also graces a new cover of the LA Times Magazine calendar. And there she says that she felt really vulnerable trying to get her message across to a very different audience. Moving to this country has been a challenge because there are so many things that are against you as an immigrant woman that have no correlation with your talent. Many predisposed ideas are projected into you. It is fighting against many concepts instead of just walking into a room knowing that they will see you for you. But even with all these difficulties, Asa keeps on working hard for great gigs. And as proof that perseverance is key to her success, did you know that she is also the new face of Louis Vuitton's latest fragrance? Please don't tell me that you missed the body art 60 pictures on the beach. You have to see them. Check it out. About this new achievement, the Mexican wrote that she was beyond honored to be chosen and even considered. And honestly, we are so proud. We love that she's talking about these issues, highlighting the importance of diversity in Hollywood and breaking barriers so that Latin actresses and actors can represent diverse characters and not only those that fit into a stereotype. We love you, Asa. Te amamos, paisana. From here, we send you all our support and applaud all the characters Asa has brought to life and the many that she will obviously do in the future. And for the rest of you, we'll see you on another Latinx Now Breakdown. I am Alex Aspe. Ciao for now. Ey, 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 tú, tú, tú ahí. No te vayas, ¿te gustó el clip? Entonces suscríbete para seguir riendo y jugando con nosotras. Aquí la pasamos espectacular y obviamente hablamos de todas las noticias del mundo Latinx y lo más trendy. Entonces dale click y no te pierdas nada de Latinx Now. Ahí está, click, suscríbete, like, comment, click, 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 click